Welcome to Mini Makers. I'm Jaya and every month I'll be bringing you songs, stories and an art project. Let's start with the hello song. Hi, hello and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello and how are you? How are you today? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're Arty and you know it, wave your brush. If you're arty and you know it, wave your brush. If you're arty and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're arty and you know it, wave your brush. I like to make shapes with my brush. Let's make some spots. Put a spot over here and a spot over there and a spot on your ear and a spot in your hair and a lot of little spots in the air everywhere it's a spotty kind of day put a stripe over here and a stripe over there and a stripe on your ear and a stripe in your hair and a lot of little stripes in the air everywhere it's a stripy kind of day put a swirl over here and a swirl over there and a swirl on your ear and a swirl in your hair and a lot of little swirls in the air everywhere it's a swirly kind of day hmm. Hmm, what should we see next i like to make rainbows with my paintbrush <laughs> let's do a really big one whoosh whoosh Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Listen with your eyes, listen with your eyes and sing everything you I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing along with me. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Put our twinkly fingers up in the air. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what Mm. One of my favourite songs is Dingle Dangle Scarecrow. Have you heard that one? Let's all pretend to be sleeping cows. Shh. Let's go to sleep. When all the cows are sleeping and the sun has gone to bed. Up jumps a scarecrow and this is what he said. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy fluffy hat. I can shake my hands like this and shake my feet like that. Okay, roosting hands this time. Good night everybody. Going to sleep again. When all the hens were roosting
sting and the moon behind a cloud. Up jumped a scarecrow and shouted very loud. I'm a dingo dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this and shake my feet like that. <laughs> I think it's time for us to read a story. Don't you? Today's story is called Zog and it's written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Scheffler. Madam Dragon ran a school many moons ago. She taught young dragons all the things that dragons need to know. Zog, the biggest dragon, was the keenest one by far. He tried his hardest every day to win a golden star. All the dragons in year one were learning how to fly. Hi, said Madam Dragon, way up in the sky. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own and you'll all be expert flyers by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice, flying fast and free. He soared and swooped and looped the loop, then crashed into a tree. Ouch! Just then a little girl came by. Oh, please don't cry, she said. Perhaps you'd like a nice sticky plaster for your head. What a good idea, said Zog, then flew up, then up and off he flew. His plaster gleaming pinkly as he zigzagged through the blue. A year went by and in year two, the dragons learned to roar. More, said Madam Dragon. Louder, I implore. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own and you'll all be champion roarers by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He roared with fearsome force. He kept it up for hours on end. <coughs> <clears throat> but then his throat grew hoarse. Just then the girl came by again. She said, Oh, what, what luck. Perhaps you'd like a nice, soothing peppermint to suck. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, and breathing fumes of peppermint, he zigzagged through the blue. A year went by, and in year three, the dragons learned to blow. No, said Madam Dragon. Breathe out fire not snow. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own and you'll all be breathing bonfires by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He blew with all his might. He twirled around in triumph and his wingtip caught a light. Oh dear. Just then the girl came by again. She said, you poor old thing, perhaps you'd like a nice stretchy bandage for your wing. What a good idea, said Zog, then up and off he flew, his bandage flipping wildly as he zigzagged through the blue. All the year four dragons were learning. Can you guess? Yes, said Madam Dragon, how to capture a princess. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. You'll need to capture hundreds by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He tried and tried and tried, but he simply couldn't manage. <laughs> I'm no good at this, he cried. I'll never win a golden star. Just then, he saw the girl. Perhaps, she said, you'd like to capture me. I'm Princess Pearl. What a good idea, said Zog. 
Then up and off they flew, the princess gripping tightly as they zigzagged through the blue. Ah, said Madame Dragon, our first princess so far. Congratulations, dog, my dear. You've won a golden star. Zog was proud and happy, and Pearl felt good as well. She took the dragon's temperatures and nursed them when they fell. A year went by, and in year five, the dragons learned to fight. Right, said Madam Dragon. Here comes a real live knight. Up spoke the knight. My name, he said, is Gadabout the Great. I've come to rescue Princess Pearl. I hope I'm not too late. Zog breathed fire and beat his wings. You can't, she's mine, he roared. Oh no, she's not, yelled Gadabout and waved his trusty sword. The other dragons crowded round and watched them all agog. Who was going to win the fight? Sir Gadabout or Zog? Then Princess Pearl stepped forward crying, Stop! You silly chumps! The world's already too full of cuts and burns and bumps. Don't rescue me. I won't go back to being a princess and prancing round the palace in a silly frilly dress. I want to be a doctor and travel here and there, listening to people's chess and giving them my care. Me too, exclaimed the knight and took his helmet off his head. I'd rather wear a nice twisty stethoscope, he said. Perhaps, princess, you'll train me up. And Pearl replied, of course. But I don't see how the two of us could fit upon your horse. Then Zog said, flying doctors, I'd love to join the crew. If you'll let me be your ambulance, then I can carry you. Bravo, said Madam Dragon, an excellent career. And all the year five dragons gave a loud, resounding cheer. Then Madam Dragon told the horse, I really hope you'll stay. I'll let you be my pupil's pet and feed you lots of hay. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew. The flying doctors waving as they zigzagged through the blue. <laughs> and that is the end of our story. Let's go and make some art.